Ethereum platform. Virtual Machine The Ethereum Virtual Machine, EVM, is the runtime environment for smart contracts in Ethereum. It is a 256-bit register stack, designed to run the same code exactly as intended. It is the fundamental consensus mechanism for Ethereum. The formal definition of the EVM is specified in the Ethereum Yellow Paper. On February 1, 2018, there were 27,500 nodes in the main Ethereum network. Ethereum virtual machines have been implemented in C++, Go, Haskell, Java, JavaScript, Python, Ruby, Rust, and WebAssembly, currently under development. Smart Contracts Ethereum smart contracts are based on different computer languages, which developers use to program their own functionalities. Smart contracts are high-level programming abstractions that are compiled down to EVM bytecode and deployed to the Ethereum blockchain for execution. They can be written in Solidity, a language library with similarities to C and JavaScript, Serpent, similar to Python, but deprecated, LLL, a low-level Lisp-like language, and Mutant, Go-based, but deprecated. There is also a research-oriented language under development called Viper, a strongly typed Python-derived decidable language. Smart contracts can be public, which opens up the possibility to prove functionality, for example self-contained provably fair casinos. One issue related to using smart contracts on a public blockchain is that bugs, including security holes, are visible to all but cannot be fixed quickly. One example of this is the June 17, 2016 attack on the DAO, which could not be quickly stopped or reversed. There is ongoing research on how to use formal verification to express and prove non-trivial properties. A Microsoft research report noted that writing solid smart contracts can be extremely difficult in practice, using the DAO hack to illustrate this problem. The report discussed tools that Microsoft had developed for verifying contracts and noted that a large-scale analysis of published contracts is likely to uncover widespread vulnerabilities. The report also stated that it is possible to verify the equivalence of a Solidity program and the EVM code. Applications Ethereum is written in Turing Complete Language, which includes seven different programming languages. Developers use the language to create and publish applications which they know will run inside Ethereum. It's a cumbersome system. But that's not deterring developers from writing Ethereum programs. Ethereum blockchain applications are usually referred to as dApps, decentralized application, since they are based on the decentralized Ethereum virtual machine, and its smart contracts. Many uses have been proposed for Ethereum platform, including ones that are impossible or unfeasible. Use case proposals have included finance, the Internet of Things, farm to table produce, electricity sourcing and pricing, and sports betting. Ethereum is, as of 2017, the leading blockchain platform for initial coin offering projects, with over 50% market share. As of January 2018, there are more than 250 lived apps, with hundreds more under development. Some application examples include, digital signature algorithms, securitized tokens, digital rights management, crowdfunding, prediction markets, remittance, online gambling social media platforms, financial exchanges and identity systems. Enterprise Software Ethereum-based customized software and networks, independent from the public Ethereum chain, are being tested by enterprise software companies. Interested parties include Microsoft, IBM, JP Morgan Chase, Deloitte, R3, Innovate UK, Cross-Border Payments Prototype. Barclays, UBS and Credit Suisse are experimenting with Ethereum blockchain to automate markets in Financial Instruments Directive, MIFID 2 requirements. Permission Ledgers Ethereum-based permission blockchain variants are used and being investigated for various projects. JP Morgan Chase is developing a permission variant of Ethereum blockchain dubbed Quorum. It's designed to toe the line between private and public in the realm of shuffling derivatives and payments. The idea is to satisfy regulators who need seamless access to financial goings-on, while protecting the privacy of parties that don't wish to reveal their identities nor the details of their transactions to the general public. Royal Bank of Scotland has announced that it has built a clearing and settlement mechanism, CSM, 
based on the Ethereum Distributed Ledger and Smart Contract Platform. Performance In Ethereum all smart contracts are stored publicly on every node of the blockchain, which has costs. Being a blockchain means it is secure by design and is an example of a distributed computing system with high Byzantine fault tolerance. The downside is that performance issues arise and that every node is calculating all the smart contracts in real time, resulting in lower speeds. As of January 2016, the Ethereum protocol could process 25 transactions per second. In comparison, the Visa payment platform processes 45,000 payments per second leading some to question the scalability of Ethereum. On December 19, 2016, Ethereum exceeded 1 million transactions in a single day for the first time. MicroRaiden was launched November 2017. Buterin and Joseph Poon, a co-author of Bitcoin's Lightning Network white paper, announced in 2017 their plan to launch a scaling solution called Plasma which creates child blockchains to the main parent blockchain. The Plasma project has skeptics, specifically, Vlad Sumfir, Ethereum's lead researcher on proof-of-stake, has publicly questioned the Plasma project's viability. Ethereum engineers have been working on sharding the calculations, and the next step, called Ethereum 2, was presented at Ethereum's DevCon 3 in November 2017. Ethereum's blockchain uses Merkle trees, for security reasons, to improve scalability, and to optimize transaction hashing. As with any Merkle tree implementation, it allows for storage savings, set membership proofs, called Merkle proofs, and light client synchronization. The Ethereum network has at times faced congestion problems, for example, congestion occurred during late 2017 in relation to CryptoKitties.